Hey guys, welcome to Monday Threads. My name is Monday of MondayJasanga.com. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to like, subscribe so that you can keep up to date with all my new videos. On today's tutorial, we will be making pajama pants without a pattern. Don't get scared. All you need is a set of pajama pants that you already have. And we will be using that outline as a template, as a pattern to recreate another set of um, pajamas. Now, um, just to note that in this video, I am making two sets of pajama pants. One for my little one, which is a fold over elastic and the elastic will be encased. Um, but the majority of the tutorial will be for an exposed exposed elastic and you will see as you continue watching the uh, tutorial. All right, so let's get into it. Study your pajama pants because you want to mimic the pants as much as possible. Stretch out the seams and remember the front part is lower than the back part to accommodate your back area. Remember the elastic band stretches out. This is important to remember because if you have wider hips you want to be able to put your pants on. Mark out the outline of the pants and remember your hem fold and your waistband fold if these are the pajamas that you will be making. Once you have done the front, turn your pants the other way so that you can trace the back. If you are tracing on paper, this is what your pattern pieces should look like. For the adult pants, I went ahead, traced, and cut out the rest of the pants. Note that this is for the exposed elastic, and that is what the majority of this tutorial will be for. To trace out your pocket, you just simply want to lay your paper under your pocket and trace it. Remember to add seam allowance to your pocket piece. Ahead and cut out your pocket piece. With the right sides facing, attach the pockets to the side of the pants and you can actually lower the pockets from the waist by half an inch. Do this for all four pieces of your pants. After you sew down your pockets, connect your two front pieces, sew those together, Connect your two back pieces, sew those together, 
as I am shown. Once you're done sewing the two front pieces and two back pieces, attach the front and the back and sew as I am showing. Once you're done pinning, you can go ahead and I went ahead, sewed and serged my seams and you can go ahead and finish the rest of your pants. the half inch top of the pants and this is for the version of the elastic on the outside. Remember to fold your pockets in. If the pockets are bulky, you can trim off the bulk. This is what the straps and the holes look like. Measure out how long you want your holes to be. I would say about an inch. Mark out the holes for your straps about an inch long and half an inch wide with a line in the center. The area around your marks is where you will be sewing. Select the zigzag stitch on your machine and 0.5 stitch length and 3.5 to about 5 inches width. You can go ahead and sew around your lines. Once done sewing your holes, add some fray check to the center line. Let the fray check dry, then place pins on the ends of your holes. Use a seam ripper to cut the hole. down your elastic and then sew it. Pin your elastic on the inside of your pants as shown. It helps to have four pins centered at four points that you pin to the four midpoints of your pants.
elastic was quite wide, but expect your elastic to be smaller than your pants. When sewing on the elastic, stretch the elastic to fit the pants as you sew. Once done, sew the bottom part of the elastic down. If At this pants, point, you are pretty much done like your you pants, can skip this but you can go ahead and create the straps that you can put through the holes that you created. You want long enough fabric for your ties. Mine measures about 44 by 7 inches, which is not long for your ties. To create a longer strap, I cut my fabric in two. Place the fabric as shown and then pin and sew it down. Once you sew it down, you can trim the edge and press it open. I cut my fabric in half, measuring 3.5 inches because I was going to make two straps. After that, you can fold or iron your pieces in half and then fold the edges in again, pin down and sew those down. That concludes the tutorial. Here are a few pictures of what my pajama pants look like.